Uh, you're probably aware of the warnings about artificial intelligence from people like Elon Musk and the late Stephen Hawking. Now, a new survey is taking a look at what the average person thinks about all this. And according to Conversica, a majority of Americans are already using AI in things like their phone or maybe Alexa or Siri. 57% believe AI will help improve their lives. 68% of San Franciscans say people have reservations about AI because they're worried about being replaced on their jobs. Alex Terry with Conversica is here with us now. Well, first, before we talk about all the, you know, the, the study, define AI as you guys are talking about it because I think Alexa and Siri, but it's much more than just that. You're right, Larry, it's much more. So artificial intelligence, it's such a big topic, right? So at Conversica, we focus on conversational artificial intelligence. So our company, build software that actually talks with people like a real person using email or text messaging back and forth. And we've actually reached out to about 50 million people, or about one in five adults in America we've probably had some kind of interaction with. Interesting, so it's more than just Alexa and Siri. Like, I don't think of Waze necessarily as AI, but a lot of the apps on your phone, like Waze, are a form of artificial intelligence. That's absolutely right. So about 75%, three quarters of Americans have a smartphone, right. a computer in your pocket. Things like you know, Waze or Google Maps to get around, or even things like Netflix recommending a, a movie, or Amazon suggesting something else that you might want to purchase. Things like that are actually using a form of artificial intelligence, or Google suggesting what you might search for, giving you the right results. Okay. And it's interesting, in your study, it says that uh, people are more optimistic about the future of AI. Okay. Some of us are more paranoid about the future of, of how just how far this goes because we see like the Boston Dynamics robots walking mm -hmm. around and you wonder, well, when are they coming for me? That's uh, right. <laughs> well, and I think pe people are right to be a little nervous and skeptical, right? Technology changes all the time, uh, even in jobs, like the jobs 50 years or 100 years ago, very different from today. They'll be different in 20 years or sure. 50 years. And so it's only natural to want to understand how these things are changing and will these big technology revolutions, will they impact me, will they impact my kids? So I think it's healthy to be skeptical of these yeah. technologies. But millennials eat this stuff up, right? They do, and they've really grown up using these kind of technologies in ways that, like my generation, we didn't, we didn't have cell phones or, or certainly yeah. not smartphones. You had an encyclopedia. You had to we, look something up. How, how odd. That's how absolutely right. Encyclopedias yeah. or dictionaries. Uh, what's the difference regionally? Because obviously San Francisco, we're in the hardest Silicon Valley compared to New York. Yeah. Well, so one of the things we saw in the study, we looked at New York, we looked at Los Angeles, San Francisco. And one of the things that was striking was they're actually pretty similar in how optimistic people are around using artificial intelligence. Um, there were some differences. For example, we noticed in New York about one in 10 folks didn't know what artificial intelligence was. It was much smaller really? in the Bay Area, yeah. which makes sense. San Francisco Bay Area, it's a real technology hub. Um, but one of the, the things that I thought about that was, you know, in New York, even a very cosmopolitan, mm -hmm. fantastic city like New York, uh, one in 10 people didn't know what AI was or hadn't heard of AI. That really made me think about, is there a digital divide here? Like these advanced technologies, are there, we're going to have a situation where some groups of people are, are using them more quickly, adopting them more quickly, and others get left behind. I think that's a, that's a real challenge. Or they may be using it but don't realize that that falls within the definition of AI could be part of it. One last question. Okay. Uh, what date will Skynet be activated so we know uh, where we are? Uh, <laughs> when well, is Arnold coming? <laughs> so, you know, I'm, a, I'm really very bullish on using AI. I don't, yeah. I don't think that Skynet will uh, come for us all. But it certainly makes for, uh, for a great movie franchise, and, and you can understand why people get really excited about these really doomsday scenarios. All right. Well, I'm not that excited about it, but uh, AI is interesting. Alex Terry from Conversa, thanks so much for your hey, time. Hey, thank you so much. All right.